Hi everyone! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. It's a paper folded crane. Okay, let's get started. For this activity, you just need one piece of paper. So first of all, you need to turn your rectangle into a square. So I'm going to take one corner and bring it down to the other edge. Line up the sides. And press down and use my fingernail to score along that crease. Okay, turn the whole thing over. Let's fold this over, okay, to separate off this rectangle. Make sure the edges line up here. Okay, and use your fingernail to score along that crease. And then you're going to cut along that crease with a pair of scissors. Okay, let's put that rectangle away. So when we open this up, we now have a square. Super. So notice we have this diagonal line here. Okay, we want to create another diagonal line here by folding corner to corner. So line up the corners, make sure the edges meet and press down. Score along the edge with your fingernail. Okay, and open up. So what I like to do is I like to go back on itself on the creases and fold along the same lines, but in the opposite way. Okay, so one way and then the other. And that's so that I can get really defined creases. Just makes life easier later on. Okay, so I go one way and then I go the other way and score along that edge. Super. So when I open it out, I've got something that looks like this. Now I'm going to fold in half, but this time edge to edge, side to side. So hold down, press and score along. Again, fold it the other way along that same crease. Okay. Brilliant. Open it up and I'm going to do the same again to make another crease down the middle. So fold in half, edge to edge, side to side, score along this crease here. And again, when you open it up, so now you've got this star of creases. Super. So next we're going to turn this this way up so it looks a bit like a diamond okay you're going to take this top corner and hold it just above the bottom one here opposite okay notice now you can put your hand in either side okay so now using the creases that you've already got you're just going to push this in okay and you're also going to do the same to the other side so when you look at it from the bottom view, it looks like this. Super. Okay, so next you're going to take this top layer, you're going to meet this edge to the center line. Okay. Like so. And hold down. Press down firmly. And do the same to the opposite side. Super. Now notice this horizontal line here. You're going to take the top part and fold it down just to create this crease here. Super. Now, this next stage, a little bit tricky. It's called a petal fold, but it's quite a nice one. So you're going to open it up and open it up. Now pay attention to this triangle here. 
Okay, so I'm going to lift this top layer now really carefully. Okay, and I'm going to open it up and as if by magic, okay, when I start pressing it down on the creases that I've made earlier, it ends up looking a bit like a diamond shape, like so. Okay, so now I turn the whole thing over and I do the same thing again. So now I need to make those creases. So do you remember what we did? So let's take this edge, bring it to the center, like so. So now I've just got a single layer left. And I do the same to the opposite side. Like so. Just going to line that up a little bit better. All right. Now remember this horizontal crease. So let's bring this down so we redefine it. Now, open up, open up. Ready for the petal fold? Let's look at this triangle and lift this top layer. And gently smooth this down. So you're not making any new creases, you're just using the creases that you've made earlier. So it might need a bit of easing into shape. Okay, I think this side needs a bit of gentle persuasion. There we go. Super. And we've got something that looks like this. Amazing. And notice this bit's a bit like two pairs of legs. Okay. Super. So now we're going to take this top layer. Okay. And we're going to bring this edge to the center line. Like so. So press down. Do the same to the opposite side. Turn the whole thing over and do the same. So bring this edge to the center line. And do the same to this side. I'm just going to turn it around so it's easier to hold. And you've got something that looks like this. So now these legs are a little bit thinner. Okay, so now you're going to bring the left side to the right side. Like so. Turn the whole thing over again. And bring the left layer to the right layer. And it's like you've got this fox's face, isn't it? Okay, so now you've got this. We're going to take this top layer from the bottom. Notice this crease here. We're going to use that same crease. So let's bring that line up. Okay. Turn the whole thing over. Do exactly the same. Notice this horizontal crease. Bring this bottom layer up. Like so. And you've got something that looks like this. So, exactly the same again. Let's bring the left layer to the right. Turn the whole thing over. Bring the left top layer to the right. And you have something that looks like this. Oh, we're nearly there. And now, this is where the magic happens. So we take these two bits, which are now the wings. Okay, slowly ease that out. Okay, and then bring these two pointy parts out a bit. And you can bend the 
the tip of one section for the beak and well done you've made your very own origami crane <laughs>